Welcome back, bench warmers. October baseball is coming to its final chapter of 2024. The World Series is here, and we have a matchup of icons, a matchup of heavyweights, a coast-to-coast -coast battle for baseball supremacy. Wow, you put it like that, yeah, I guess it's pretty major. Yankees, Dodgers, two titans meet in this century-old tradition. The Fall Classic, there's nothing like it. I'm Corey, 2024 Yankee fan. And I'm Brendan, hoping for a tie, and this is RV from the Bench. Before we get started, if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you never miss any one of the new episodes. Also, if you could please do us the favor, if you like what you see or hear, don't forget to smash that like button. Come on, smash it for us, it's free. It's free for you, it's free for us. Helps out the channel a lot more than you probably can. Hell yeah. Well, Corey, the World Series is here. Um, we're not as excited as we were for the last World Series, oh. but <laughs> here we are regardless. Um, obviously, last year, if you've been with us for some time, Corey and I were planning a trip to Arizona because the Diamondbacks had made it to the World yeah. Series against the Rangers. Unfortunately, everybody knows how that series panned out. It wasn't that great for Diamondback fans, but we had a good time at the game, no? Oh, hell yeah. It was worth the drive out for the day. I mean, for me, it was a turnaround literally less than 24 hours drive out. Go to the game. Thankfully, the game started at 5 o'clock instead of 8 o'clock Eastern time yeah. like, if we were on the East Coast. So mm -hmm. that kind of worked in our benefit as far as getting home that night. But it was – I mean, it was cool. It was never – I mean, it's the first time we've ever been to a World Series game. Yeah. And like we talked about it. They've only been there now twice in 28 years of existence. So we got to take the chance when we get it. Yeah, exactly. Even if it ends in an L, it was something that we experienced together. It was cool. So it was it was fun. But the journey was not the same this year. It definitely, we didn't even we weren't even part of the journey. We decided to just have the most run, the highest run differential, and score the most runs in all of Major League Baseball this season, but not participate in October baseball. So also, did you notice that not only did the Diamondbacks score the most and not make the playoffs, the Mariners allowed the least least and yep. make the playoffs. Yeah, terrible. Terrible. They couldn't hit, and we couldn't pitch. Apparently, is what it <laughs> yeah. what it sounded like. It. We could just combine teams, bro. We'd win the World Series. Yeah, we'd be really good. The Seattle Marinbacks. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyways, again, different path this year. We're going to throw up what we've had, what's happened so far, obviously, the bracket for the postseason of 2024 baseball this year. Um, you know, just a bunch of teams I wasn't rooting for. Well, unless they were playing the Dodgers, of course. Yep. But, uh, you know, we're stuck, man. They, they're they here. Yeah, there's nothing we can do now. It's just got to hope that the Yankees are better than them for at least four games and get to the W and get out of there. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of it's sad that I'm laughing when you say it, and I know you're not even very confident when you say it, but <laughs> no. yeah, it's kind of true. Um, I think the hard part for me is that, not that they haven't been around, but the Dodgers have been here for years, right? They've been yeah. knocking on the door. The Yankees have been like up and down, up and down. Last year, I think they missed the playoffs. This year, they're back in it, but the top seed. So it's just like more hit or miss for me, I guess, for the Yankees is why I'm nervous. Yeah, understandable, but uh, from what I've kind of read, and we'll get into detail, they seem to have a similar approach at the plate, which might come to benefit them against the Dodgers. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, one of the biggest headlines is where we have to start, obviously. Uh, it goes basically without saying, and some of the largest figures, I guess you could say, in all of baseball, but honestly, with Shohei and almost all the world, um, and Judge being on the Yankees and the polarizing player he is, too, is popular, but Judge versus Shohei, that's... Uh, that's the big headline, right, going in? Dude, MLB's got to be just so stoked. One, it's the top two markets. You got the top two players. And Shohei really would be the top player in the AL with him as he was last year. But since they're in different leagues now, they're mm -hmm. literally the best player in each individual league as far as offense goes. Yeah. This is going to be awesome. Uh, like I said, MLB's just got to be – I mean, the numbers in Japan are going to be astronomical. I yeah. mean, I'm sure they watched when, like, Hideki Matsui won, won with the Yankees back in the day and other guys, but – this with Shohei is a different world. I feel like Shohei is so different, yeah. Yeah, and Yamamoto. There's just a whole different vibe with this and situation. So, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of excited, but also, like like you said, kind of nervous. Yeah, I, it's, they're my, <laughs> least, my two least favorite franchises in all of baseball. Um, it goes Dodgers the worst, and then there's a large gap of empty, and then the Yankees. And then there's just other teams that I just am indifferent about. So, I mean, it's like this is like the Clippers and the Celtics meeting in the finals, bro. Like, I just I don't want any of them to win. Can we just yeah. cancel it? As I, you know, <laughs> was hoping for a tie, as you noticed in my in my head here. But you know, Shohei Judge, Yankees, Dodgers, New York, L.A. Money everywhere. Um, I mean, I know the Mets have a lot of money for their payroll too, but these are basically the two. See, this is the thing. A lot of people are like, 
Dodgers don't have the highest payroll. Well, I mean, if you factor in what's going to happen in 20 years, what you should yeah. be paying Shohei now, you're, you're, you're the most. You know what I mean? Like Astronomically the most. <laughs> what hap- yeah. And the reason why I say that, too, is because most salary caps um, count for players that you're still paying that on your team anymore. So in theory, it'd be the same idea, right? Like Max Scherzer's yeah. still hitting the Mets and shit. That's what's making it go higher. Well, that's then true. Shohei's future contract kind of hits now, too, in, in, if you think about it. So that's the only reason why I say that, because they're just spending money like it's going out of style. Yeah, and unfortunately, they're going to continue to do that if it ends up working. Because we've always had this issue of like, oh, the teams that spend the most money don't always win. Or the teams that win the offseason and, and winter meetings and get all the big free agents don't always win it when it comes to like the season and actually playing in October. <laughs> but these are the two, if not the top two teams, the two of the top three, and I think in payroll and all of the, of the league. Mm-hmm. So it kind of proves the point that spending money is worth it. So maybe that'll kind of change the philosophy, the way some teams do things moving forward. But regardless... Here we are. Yeah. <laughs> the hard part for those other teams that you're talking about is that it's not a salary cap league. So they're literally competing with whatever money they have. Yep. And this is the reason why the A's are moving to Vegas. They, they feel like they weren't getting enough money in, in Oakland. So, yep. um, yeah, it is what it is. But moving through it, we have to start watching. I mean, we get to start watching this on <laughs> Friday. Game one is here in L.A. with obviously the best record in Major League Baseball. It's crazy because the Yankees weren't like too far behind them. I think like three no. games or so. So, uh, But either way, you didn't get it. Remember, wasn't it didn't it used to be the All-Star game would determine that? Yeah, I remember there was that tie that one year when uh, it was in Milwaukee. And I this is the one that's the one Torrey Hunter robbed Barry Bonds of the home run like early mm-hmm. in the first and second inning. And he like played, you know, they were like messing around coming off the field or whatever. But yeah, the next yeah. year, Bud Selig's idea was make it decided in the play in the uh, all-star game and i think they did that for like maybe five or six years and then the league was like yeah it has nothing to do with it. that's stupid it's so, true but oh, it's kind of fun <laughs> but before but even before that it wasn't the team with the best record it was just alternating it was al nl al nl so the year the dimebacks had N- the home field that was just because it was the nl's turn they didn't have the better record over the yankees so that didn't even make sense the way they did it before. It should be if you're the best record, you have home field. I don't, but yeah, that's what they do in basketball. It makes sense. Is what they do in football until you get to the Super Bowl. Um, so yeah, it makes the most sense. It makes yeah. the most sense. I'm just yeah. bitter that the Yankees didn't have a better freaking you know, <laughs> thing. Um, but yeah, so Friday, uh, which is crazy because a lot of stuff is actually happening on Friday. There's a Laker game on Friday. Dude. There's college football. Uh, there's freaking high school football. I saw yeah. a post that was, someone talked about it, but they, then they called out freaking Modern Day and St. John Bosco who are playing in Santa Ana. I'm like, fool, that's it's not even L.A. Like, that's Orange County. Like, stop. Yeah. But there's still insane. a lot of stuff going on in L.A. Game one for the World Series is on Friday. So, Yeah, there's a ton of stuff in L.A. I, actually, I think Monday, I think I heard, is the sports equinox. There's going to be, like, baseball, oh, everything? basketball, and football on Monday night and hockey. So, yeah, Monday is the day we're really looking forward to. All right. Well, then, let's get ready. We'll probably be doing an episode on that night. So Yeah, we probably will. Maybe we should – oh, dude, we should do a sports betting equinox. Ooh, I like it. Let's talk, okay. let's talk about that for Friday. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Okay, well, let's stick to the World Series right now. We want to kind of go over a couple things before we give over our predictions of who we think is going to win. Um, so th- we're just going to kind of break it down into two simple simple ways that most people look at baseball. Hitting and pitching. Okay? We're going to start with the lineup. Yes. Corey, who do you think – I mean, they're both kind of stacked, right? I mean, they're, yeah. both, they're both really good. But if you had to choose a team that's going into this series with a better lineup, who are you giving the edge to? Oh man, I went back and forth because I, I actually pulled kind of up same. the roster and like went by position by position. And it's like, okay, Freeman's not his normal self. So him and Rizzo are kind of the same player in a sense. Like Rizzo's not as good. Yeah, a healthy average. Freeman. Yeah, that's right. what I'm saying. But right now, yeah. Freddie's not healthy. So if we're looking at him at the moment, mm-hmm. his being the, this, uh, like not disabled, but hurt. Hobbled. At the, hobbled. That's the, that's the word I was looking for. Since he is, I think he kind of lowers his level and his availability could become a question at some point. But right now, if I just look at him and Rizzo, I kind of, they're kind of the same guy. So I kind of yeah. canceled them out. Yeah. I started going through the lineup and like catcher. I'm like, okay, yeah, Smith's better for the eight Dodgers. And obviously Otani's better at DH than Stanton, even though Stanton get, they get the ALS, ALCS MVP. But yeah, but he has to walk everywhere he goes. So yeah, uh, <laughs> I just, I think when it comes down to it, it's literally Shohei is the deciding factor. So it makes the Dodgers have the better lineup. But if you look at it as a whole, like, you know, Volpe is very similar to like Edmund. And uh, like I said, Rizzo and Freeman and Chisholm at third and, and Muncie are kind of similar. Like there's a very, there's this, both rosters are almost kind of mirroring each other in a sense. But again, if it wasn't for Otani, I'd say the Yankees, but he's the deciding factor. So I think the Dodgers have the better lineup. Literally yeah. Because of- 
Yeah, what's crazy is you mentioned all these good lineups, and I know you have it here in your notes, but you didn't mention it. There's this other guy that he plays uh, right field. His name is Juan Soto. He's pretty good at hitting the fo- uh, Dude, football. I, yeah. wow, I literally almost said he's really good at hitting the football. He's really <laughs> good at hitting the baseball as well. So, yeah, Soto too. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, But the answer is – well, you're technically right with the answer. The answer is the one with the billionaire on it. That's the answer. Yeah. The one who got $700 million, that's the team that has better. Oh, they also start their lineup with three former MVPs at one, two, and three with Otani, yeah. Betts, and Freeman. So it's almost cheating at this point, but you know they're the better lineup. To your point, it's a lot more even than maybe the, uh, the Mets lineup was for the Dodgers. Yeah. For it's sure. a lot more even than the Indians, or I'm sorry, Guardians lineup would have been had they, um, you know, beat the Yankees. So I'll give it to you. The Yankees are closer, but yeah, it's the one with the billionaire on it for sure. Yeah. And and I mentioned earlier, we were talking about how I, I've been reading and hearing people talk about how the Yankees have a similar approach to the Dodgers. The yeah. Yankees, I think, saw the most pitches or second most pitches in all of baseball this year at the plate. So they're very patient. Uh, the Dodgers have been good and better at that, I should say, in the playoffs here. They didn't do as oh, good during the regular season. Set. But the Yankees are very patient and are going to make you work as a pitcher. So you're going to have to throw them strikes. Like Soto's really good at the at the at the zone and what to go and with not go shuffle. for. Yeah, his <laughs> like and I, I, to be honest, if you give him something, he I mean that home run he hit against the Guardians in Game Five, he hit it. It was opposite. It was up and away, and he hit it to center field in a home run. Like what? How does that? And make like seven thousand feet in the air. People yeah, were waiting. Is it? Is it fair? Is it coming in? Or is it, oh, yeah. it's a home run. Okay, finally. It was great. <laughs> so the fact that he did that, I mean, he's going to pull a couple of Yankee Stadium, I anticipate, and get a couple of right yeah. field homers. And that's where I think the Yankees so can show really, Well, yeah, true. But I think that's where the Yankees really get, like, if they can split in L.A. early and go home 1-1, like, they might not come back on a plane. I don't know. I'm hoping. But we'll we'll see as we go on. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'm not getting that excited because um, we were kind of hoping the same thing for San Diego. Okay, if they just yeah. split in L.A., they could win the two at home and then be – yeah, but San yeah. Diego and Yankees, this is, this is a different pedigree. 100%. There. Yeah, won't argue with you. <laughs> won't argue with you there. Let's hope that's the case this time. <laughs> All right, so let's switch to the other uh, second part of that then. Obviously, we kind of are giving the slight edge to the Dodgers on the lineup. But when it comes to the people pitching to them, who are you taking in this one? Again, I kind of think it's a little close, bro. These teams are stacked. Yeah, it's it's really close, but I think going through it and looking at the starting pitching, especially for the Yankees, I think it's a little stronger because they don't have bullpen bullpen games as the Dodgers do. And I think because of how I mentioned how the Yankees are a very patient batting team, I think if the Dodgers go to bullpen games or a lot of bullpen guys and they end up working them and getting their pitch counts up, that's going to end up hurting them getting taxed later into the series. So if I'm, I kind of hope for this series to be similar to like the Boston Dodger one in 18, where the Red Sox or now Yankees just have a ton of offense and your pitching is good and it's been good, but haven't quite seen a lineup like this yet. And I think it's going to come to bite them. Um, you mentioned that's true. I mean, yeah. even the San Diego, like with Machado and Tatis, that's kind of it, right? There. That's yeah, kind of yeah. it, right there. You know, I mean, yeah. they have good people who can get on base, but exactly. nobody's really like scaring you, like like you even mentioned here, Murderers Row of yeah. uh, of this Yankee squad. Yeah, I say Stanton, Judge Soto. I mean, Volpe's been really good. Uh, I'm trying to think who the catcher is off the top of my head that has had. Uh, hold on, uh, Trevino has been and mm-hmm. Wells. Both of them really, they've been platooning them guys at, at catcher, but they both have a little bit of pop in them. I think uh, Chisholm could be like. Uh, I kind of think, okay, if I'm picking like MVP of the World Series, for some reason I'm going Chisholm. I don't know. I know we didn't put that on the dock to ask. Jazz. Like, but that's where I'm going. I'm going Jazz with MVP and the Yankees. That's where I'm going. Okay. All right. Well, you haven't, we haven't got there yet. But no, I know. I'm just good. excited about Jazz. I'm just like, okay. okay. All that's of a sudden good. it just clicked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, for the pitching staff, I do think it's the Yankees. I think they have a better starting pitching staff. Surprisingly, the Dodgers. So for the past. I don't know. They've been winning the division for like 10 to 14 years straight now, I feel like. But 11 of past, 12, I think. For yeah. Some okay. But for the past like five years or so, besides the year they won the World Series, which counts, right. but doesn't count because, bro, like 60 games ain't shit, is their bullpen has kind of been their kryptonite. Um, yeah. Kenley Jansen could yeah. never close out a game to save his life. Um, a handful of that's the first one that comes to mind, but there's been a handful of other bullpen arms that just weren't good enough. Um, and they and Dave Roberts, because he's so analytical, as soon as the starter has you know one person on second and one out, then he needs to you know calculate who's supposed to come in next. He's starting to pull people in early. I, I don't think they have the same problem this year. 
unfortunately, I was excited the bullpen game they're going to have against the Padres. I thought the Padres would be able to kind of take that and come back to L.A. tied 2-2. And they just got they got rolled, bro. They, they didn't score a run for like 20-something innings, man. And that's based yeah. off the pitching for the – and Padres could hit. Now, granted, I don't think they're the best hitting team in the league, but they can hit. So it makes me nervous that the Dodgers pen is a little bit better. Um, but the numbers against the Padres for their starters was atrocious, bro. I'm talking like 10 plus ERA. So yeah. if the Yanks can jump on the starters before they get to the bullpen, I think either way they'll be okay. But the Yankee starters are a little bit better. The bullpen's pretty decent. If only Mariano Rivera could come back oh, and maybe God, just kind of, you know, kind of just close out ninth inning if it uh, were to be, be that way. So. I'd be stoked if Randy Johnson came back to the Yankees. He was there for a short <laughs> period of time. That'd be great. Just go back and help him, help him get this title, man. But yeah, yeah, yeah anything. I, I, I'm with you though. This, this, the, I just think the bullpen has been so good for the Dodgers and it was the biggest question mark kind of going in because of all the starting wrote up uh, injuries they've had. Injuries, yeah. But I just, for some reason, I think the Yankees are going to make them work a little harder than, and like the Padres thing, you mentioned the Padres. Yeah, the Padres are good, but it's also a division opponent. You know each other really well. You played each other in the playoffs before recently. A lot of the guys are still on each team. So this is a different animal. Like, you know, you only see each other good once point. or twice a year, maybe if you're lucky. So I don't know. I just, Maybe I just can't say that I like the Dodgers in any category. No, that's okay. No, to be honest with you, I kind of like, I get what you're saying too, as far as the the arms and the amount of usage they do. Now, the Dodgers may have a good one, but to your point, if they're if they're being used a lot, they're not. That's not what they're meant to be, as far as like a you know as a regular season goes. They're here for. 15 to 20 pitches, move on to the next. Well, mm-hmm. if I need you 15 to 20 pitches, then I'm going to use you for a day or two. That's normal. But if I need you 15 to 20 pitches, then I need you tomorrow for 20, 30 more. Yeah. That's when it starts getting – no, I'm not saying they're going to be bad or anything, but that's when they start slipping a little bit. That's when Soto can see that the the, the slider's hanging or the fastball doesn't have that spice on it. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for here. But All right, one last thing before we do the series prediction. Yes, sir. I just thought about it. We're looking okay. at the managers, right? Dave Roberts versus Aaron Boone. I just thought about it. Dave Roberts obviously was on the Red Sox and stole that base, which then, you know, the three and O thing just fell apart for the Yankees. Yes. In, in was Aaron Boone on that team? No, but Aaron Boone was on the Yankees the year before when he hit that walk off home run in game seven of the ALCS to go to the world series, which they ultimately lost to the Marlins. So I'm just thinking like, dang, these guys have both been in a world series as a player and now as a manager. That's who do cool. you think has the who are you leaning as the best manager or, the, or who you think is going to be the best in the series? So the only thing that I have two comments. My first one is while Dave Roberts has a ton of more experience managing this late into the season, I think that Aaron Boone doesn't second guess shit too much. If yep. that makes sense, he says that looks good. Let's run with that. Or nope, not okay. Okay, if the X axis has this way, and then he's at forty seven pitches, and he's how many fastballs was it? Twenty three. Fa- oh, see, he can only throw twenty two fastballs a game. That's what I feel like Dave Roberts does too much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and honestly, what might be what has held them back from World Series, which I'm grateful for. Um, <laughs> but I, that's the only thing I do think that the experience is on Dave Roberts. Robert, Dave Roberts signed, but I feel like sometimes he overthinks it. What do you think? No, it's kind of my similar thought. I thought with this, with this being Boone's first as a coach, maybe ignorance is bliss in a way. And again, True. he's more of an, an he's not as analytically driven as feel. They, as, he's more of a feel guy because that's how he played. That's like right. his vibe and his and it's obviously worked. I mean, they were also in the ALCS a couple times, I think, and lost to the Astros, at least for sure in 17, if not a second time. after. Cheaters. That. <coughs> so, Excuse yeah. me. Sorry. Cheaters. So like, Ugh. Judging them have been here before. Soto's already won a World Series with the Nationals and he was very true on that team that beat the Dodgers in order to get to the world series very so, true there's a lot of like i don't know man there's just a lot of things i'm like oh it'd be great if they now i i as far as the series prediction let's just get right into yeah it. move into that Last please thing. you start i just for some reason think yankees and seven i think they're going to each win on the road at least once and the yankees hopefully will do it twice in game seven i think we're going to see yamamoto twice probably in game two and maybe even game seven because i know he doesn't like to pitch more than once every six or seven days he has like a weird rest Flaherty's, pattern Flaherty's game one right yeah, Flaherty's game one, and apparently he was sick the last start against the Mets, which is why he struggled. So we'll see if that was the case or if he actually uh, just it's got struggling. up. The Yankees mm-hmm. have got his number as well. The Yankees did face him last year when he was in Baltimore a couple times, so they might know him a little bit. I don't know. I just He's also been in Detroit, right, which is in the American League. Yep. So also they played point. him a couple times there. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel good about I just for some reason, Yankees in seven. Jazz is going to be MVP. I don't know how he's going to do it, but that's what I'm going. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I'm here to tell you you're wrong. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> as much as I want you to be right, my friend, it's going to be the Dodgers in six. Um, oh. I know they're going to want to win it uh, in six because that way they could win it at home. Um, but I think they might even be on the verge of winning it in five. I think that it's going to be that the Yankees kind of pull it out at home just because they're at home. They save the series. Okay, it's 3 2. Uh, yeah, and then they go back home, and, and Otani probably does some crazy three run home run in the eighth inning. To you know what I mean? I just I don't know. I have some weird, <laughs> not necessarily a walk off, but like a kind of a walk off. You know what I mean? Because they start uh, at the mean, top of the ninth. But no, it's cool. Shohei can hit a home run in the bottom of the eighth, and Judge and Stan can hit back to back in the ninth, and then they'll just okay. win. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. Down. Yeah. That sounds down. <laughs> uh, yeah. I um. I'm not happy about it, but it is what it is. Uh, at the beginning of the playoffs, in order to kind of hedge my bet in a sense, and by bet, I mean my feelings. <laughs> I placed a bet for the Dodgers to win the World Series, uh, 100 bucks. So if I, um, if I hit it, great. If I don't hit it, great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the best way to look at it. They either yeah, so, we get to not have to hear Dodger fans for another couple months, or they win, we got to hear them, but you also get a, you got a little bit of cash on the side. Yeah, got some cash, some cash. So um, I would, I'll put it this way. I would prefer to lose the money. Yeah. I understand. And speaking of money and, and who we want to win or lose, let us know in the comments below, guys, who you got winning this year. We want to see if our viewers are on our side or they're against us. Like, which, which yeah. are you on the dark side? Like in LA, uh-huh. where, where, where are you at? Where are you thinking? Yeah. Where, do, where do you stand? Huh? <laughs> we want to know. Also, when basketball season's coming up, are you a Clippers fan? Oh, sorry, I'm getting carried away. Hey, we don't. I don't even exactly have enough viewers to find with one of those people. So true. Actually, my friend, he's a he's a oh, okay. fan, so he We watch. have one. We found him. Woo! All <laughs> right. So World Series coming up. Make sure you catch it on Friday. It's gonna be on Fox. All the games. Uh, you've got Yankees in seven. I've got Dodgers in six. It's gonna be a close freaking battle. Um, so honestly, I'm just hoping for good games. Uh, don't know much of it. I'll watch. But like he said, let us know down in the comments below who you've got win. Appreciate everybody for stopping by. Thank you as always for seeing things from RV from the bench. I'm Brendan. And I'm Corey. Like we always say, enjoy the sports until we talk again. Peace. This was a Sycamore Fourth Studios production.